Okay, so ChatGPT or OpenAI has now released ChatGPT Record. So this is a meeting, AI meeting summarizer, note taker, uh, now directly in ChatGPT. So similar to like Otter or Tactic or whatever. So there's a few requirements. You have to be on the ChatGPT team plan. So not on any other plan, only for team workspaces. Even if even Plus doesn't get this yet. Uh, you have to be on Mac OS and using the Mac OS desktop app, not just the browser. You got to be on Mac OS desktop. Okay, so if you meet all those requirements, you will see this new record button here. So let's press it. Uh, pops up a little recording window. And now what we're going to try is since I don't, uh, I'm not going to do a meeting with anyone right now, I'm just going to open up a YouTube video. And today I'm going to show you how you can save 30 minutes a day and using Vim up as your text editor. Volume from the video. So quick schedule. Uh, I'm just going to go over what is Vim, why, why you should use Vim, how to use it. And I'll keep any questions till the end. And uh, Okay, so that's a few seconds of a, vi a previous video I made. What's important here is that some audio recorders don't uh, pick up system audio. So that means that it's only listening from your microphone, not listening to audio coming out of your computer. Or so like if, if you open uh, a video like this, sometimes it won't pick it up if your audio is going into your headphones and your mic can't hear what's happening on your headphones. Uh, the good news is ChatGPT Recorder, it does pick up system audio. So that, so that means it'll record everything that's being played through the speakers, through your headphones, and any audio at all that's coming, being made by your computer, including meetings. Um, so now let's press stop here and we press send. So what I understand is this is, it's converted my speech, all the, all the audio into a transcript, and now it's sending that transcript to ChatGPT and we're going to see the results. Um, initial thoughts are it's uh, it's been as good as any other uh, AI transcription service right now. Um, some notes are on pricing is that it's the price well technically it's part it's included for free as part of your team plan so that's $25 a month per user on the annual plan. Limits I like the limits here. Uh, as of right now, and this might change later, there's no limits on how many sessions you can have, and each session can be up to two hours. Um, okay, so here's the result. So now we're seeing recording system audio. It's give us the date and the time, and it also, if you click on it, it takes us into canvas mode. So in here, I can just make any edits if I want, um, and that makes it a bit more shareable, like if it spells a name wrong or something like that. Uh, it did pick up my, what was in the video that I was playing. So I was talking about Vim and it picked up that, uh, automatically giving us action items and so on. So a lot of other AI recorders are doing this right now, like Otter and um, Fireflies. What is a little special about this one is that you get all of ChatGPT inside inside this. So like Fireflies or something else will let you ask questions about this. And you can do the same here. Like tell me what the key points are. Um, but now that you have, you, because this is inside ChatGPT, you also have access to like modifying this doc using ChatGPT. Um, so for example, we could say, we could use this uh, sidebar here for adding emojis, right? So we can add an emoji for each section, for example. So now it'll go back, re rewrite this, uh, adding in a, an emoji for each section. So that's like, could be useful, could just be, you know, a little silly or whatever. Um, it kind of, in some ways it could make it a bit more readable and you can also change the reading light level, adjust the length, make it like longer, shorter, whatever. So these are all like canvas functionality that you really only get from ChatGPT. 
Uh, the other part is, let's say you want to connect your app. So because ChatGPT lets you connect, uh, so I can connect, let's say, with my cursor or some sort of note. And I can say, like, let's say I open up a file in cursor. So now I've opened up this some complicated cursor files, and I can it's it's picking up those files, and I can say add details from the open files in cursor into the meeting notes. So it'll sensibly add this in a section um, somewhere in here. So it's actually layered it in into the overall summary. It says it's talking about those files that I had open, which was badge.tsx. Um, and oh, AI being AI, it did something weird here where it didn't. It just took away all the context. Like, but maybe you know you could always steer it. I will say, add it in to the notes. see add it into the meeting notes canvas let's give it a bit more explicit instructions mm. so this time it's having trouble and as a lot of ai demos sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work in this it was working just before i tried it uh but now it's having trouble um editing this doc uh, edit the canvas to include maybe we'll stop working with cursor and we'll just say edit the uh, canvas to include uh, context include these context notes hmm. interesting so it's having trouble bouncing back between some of these different um, modes that you can pick in ChatGPT. Let's say we tried web search, like add details from the web into the meeting notes canvas. Um, so let's see if we could at least get it back into working on uh, editing the canvas. But no, it's having trouble. So this is such a new offering from ChatGPT that I'm that we are we should expect that it's a bit buggy um like for example one bug i found was on this sharing link it says you can make it public so that anyone in the link can view but if you click it it just jumps back to workspace and it doesn't matter how many times i do it it just keeps popping back so it doesn't give it so there's probably some sort of back-end logic there but the ux is not i would describe that as buggy um and yeah it's not super steerable yet so i don't know if i would say this is like enterprise ready like throw out your existing meeting recorder and switch to this not yet but we're getting close probably um we're also seeing like the they did it does let you download as a pdf uh which is nice and you can see this the just the raw transcript itself if you click on one of the timestamps then you can see the transcript, uh, which is cool. What I don't like about it against uh, other meeting recording apps is that it's sort of not organized well. It's It just shows up as a conversation, another chat. So if you're like me and you're having 10 chats a day with ChatGPT and you just want to find your recording ones, then you have to do something manual like create a new project, call recordings, and then drop these into there but I don't like that I I, I don't want to have to like search through to find meeting recordings and then sift through other things um, what I do like though is now that everything is in here like all of my if I can have all my recordings going into ChatGPT then I can say like I can r rely on ChatGPT's memory and say like what were my last uh, meetings about um, and now, if as long as you, you've given it access to your past, uh, your past conversations, then now it's picking up accurately 
what my last two meetings I recorded with ChatGPT were about. So that's cool. So for some pros and cons there, um, let me know what you think.